Good day everyone. This problem is suggested by one of our viewers. Let's start. Here's the question. The trajectory of the baseball is a parabola with the base 180 feet wide and 60 feet high at the vertex. If the vertex of the parabola is at the top of the curve, what height is 120 feet above the bottom from the starting point of the ball? Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video and if you're ready, here's the solution. First thing to do is to make an illustration of this problem. So again, the question is, the trajectory of the baseball is a parabola with the base 180 feet wide and 60 feet high at the vertex. So let's have first the ground and let's have the ball and the ball, the trajectory of the ball is a parabola. So it looks like this. Next, the base is 180 feet and the height of this ball is 60 feet. Next, suppose for a moment that this horizontal line is our x-axis and this vertical line is the y-axis. Therefore, their intersection must be the origin. Now, on the x-axis, we have this point, negative 90, and the other point is 90 because we have 180 in total. So we have 90 from this point up to the origin and again 90 from the origin up to this point. Also, on the y-axis, this point is 60. Next, what we're going to do is to make an equation of this parabola representing the scenario or the trajectory of the ball. So the parabola is opens downward. Therefore, the general form of this parabola is x minus a squared equals negative 4a multiplied by y minus k, wherein h and k is the vertex of this parabola. If you encounter a parabola opens upward, change this negative sign into a positive sign. Okay? Now, let's move on. Now, at this point, we have the value of h and k or the vertex. The vertex is at the top of this parabola having the coordinates of 0, 60. In our equation, we have h and k. h equal to 0 and k equals 60. So our goal is to find the value of a. Now to get the value of a, we need a point on this parabola. So in this case, we will use this point, 90 comma 0. This will be h comma k and 90 comma 0 will serve as x comma y. Now substitute all the given values to our equation and solve for a. Now if we do that, we get 90 minus 0 or simply x, we have 90 minus h or 0 equals 4a multiplied by 0 minus 60. So this 0 is y and this 60 is k. Now simplify, we have 8100 equals 240a. Divide both sides by 240 and we get 135 over 4. So this is now the value of A or the focal length of this parabola. Now what we're going to do is to substitute the value of A and H and K to this equation to find the equation of this parabola. If we do that, we will get X squared equals negative 135 multiplied by Y minus 60. So this is the equation of this parabola having a vertex at 0, 60 and pass through negative 90, 0 and 90, 0. Now at this point, we can now answer the question. So the question is, what height is 120 feet above the bottom from the starting point of the ball? So from the starting point of the ball, we need to make 120 feet. From the starting point up to the origin, we have 90, so we need to add 30. So to cover up 120. Now our goal is to determine what is the height of the ball in this position. So in this case, here's the ball, and let's call the height be equal to n, and the coordinates of this ball must be 30, comma, n. Now our goal is to solve for the value of n, or the height of this ball, 120 feet above the bottom of the ball from the starting point. Now to do that, we need to consider this point as x, comma, y. Now substitute those values to our equation to solve for the value of n. So we have 30 squared, this is the x coordinate, 
equals negative 135 multiplied by n minus 60. So this is now the y coordinate. Now simplify to solve for n. So we have 30 squared, we have 900 equals negative 135 n, so distribute plus 8,100. Now what we're going to do is to add 135 n both sides and subtract 900 both sides. We have 135n equals 7,200. Now divide both sides by 135 and we get n equals 160 over 3. Now the answer to the question, what height is 120 feet above the bottom from the starting point of the ball? And our answer is 160 over 3 or approximately 53.33. And don't forget the unit, we have feet. And we're done.